for. Although the cerebellum still permits limited physical movement, such movement signifies nothing. If bodily actions become violent or persistently repetitive, it must be treated as reflexive muscular spasms, which is to say by sedation. The cerebrum has suffered massive and irreparable damage. Had I not been sure of this, I would not have permitted him to live. There is no justification for his continued existence unless we learn from him how to help others. Care for him as gently as if he knew what you were doing and would feel the pain if you did it badly. Attending personnel will remember that good medical care forbids emotional involvement with the patient. Avoid such involvement by remembering that it is impossible for a decerebrated individual to experience pain, pleasure, memory, dreams, or thought of any kind. It follows, therefore, that this young man will be as unfeeling, as unthinking as the dead until the day he joins them. <laughs>